35 and today is going to be my biggest day yet so I'm starting at sunrise 6 30 a.m. it's a beautiful morning nice and warm and last night there was something that woke me up a few times every night and I couldn't think of what the noise was but I knew that I've heard it a lot before and I remember it was a koala so I had to find him this morning um, and he was just in the tree closest to me <laughs> Oh. Oh, 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 I can't believe you love me oh, 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 I just feel so lucky oh, 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 I can't believe you love me mm -hmm. I've been there for there was one section of the Heisen Trail in Cuddly Creek that was closed to all hikers. Everyone had to either catch a lift around or walk on this narrow sketchy road with other cars going past to get to the other side. A man named Jerry got in touch with me. He arranged permission with Forestry SA to walk the section through Cuddly Creek. This was something that I wasn't allowed to share with anyone until now. So Jerry and his wife, Michelle, escorted me through the park. I just made an error in I missed one of the turnoffs to go up Montecute Hill by the Heisen Trail and instead I'm going up it via Corkscrew Road which is just designed for cars no humans no humans walking and no humans cycling um, it's not very safe and I feel like I've put myself in an unsafe position um, I mean, it's an error and I just have to work around it. I made it back to the trail. Mwah. Yes! On the Heisen Trail again. Feels good. So the Heisen Trail continued on that road just a little bit. Now, I'm so grateful I'm finally getting off this dangerous road and going up a little dirt track. Yes! Okay, so that little dirt track lasted for about 20 meters. <laughs> now I'm back on the road again. I can't believe that just over four weeks ago I was in the outback just walking up in Parachilna I didn't realize the impact that 
walking to Adelaide would have on me and now I can just see the city. It's just crazy to think that I've walked all this way. <laughs> Jess from other Heist and Trail videos and you might also recognize Josh who has his own YouTube channel because he completed the Heist and Trail fully a few years ago. Mount Lofty Botanic Gardens and it is so fresh and beautiful. <music> Now I'm walking through the Adelaide Hills and it is so beautiful. Barossa, there weren't that many conservation parks. Walking through the Adelaide Hills, you're going through two to three to four conservation parks in a single day. And it's amazing what it does for your mood. So the walks in the conservation parks are some of my favorite. <music> to go and I feel mentally 
physically and emotionally exhausted. Like I got nothing left in the tank. It's funny, like when I did 40Ks or 30Ks, it was fine, but then it just catches up to you and yeah, you just get tired eventually. You wear out over time. And I feel like I'm an old rag. Can you tell us the geocache? Oh, cool.